The past few years have seen many takes written about the supposed decline in popularity of pro baseball. But last year's World Series between the Chicago Cubs and Cleveland Indians was the most watched World Series in 12 years. And the thrilling Game 7 was the most watched single game in 25 years. We had storylines in the postseason that kept audiences with baseball even after their individual team was out, said Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred at Yahoo Finance's All Markets Summit last February. He called the excitement around the 2016 World Series a reaffirmation of the fundamental strength of our game, and added, hopefully we'll be able to recreate it again. To recreate it, MLB could use another exciting matchup of two passionate fan bases that haven't won in years. Of the eight teams left standing, for qualify, the Washington Nationals have never been to the World Series, the La Dodgers last made it in 1988 and won, the Arizona Diamondbacks went in 2001 and won, and the Houston Astros last made it in 2005 and got swept. That leaves the Red Sox and Yankees who have had recent success, but still have two of the largest fan bases in baseball, so MLB would be happy to have them stick around, and the Cubs and Indians, a simple rematch, most believe, would also do the trick in duplicating last year's World Series rating success. MLB, which hit the $10 billion revenue mark last year, for comparison, NBA is at $8 billion, NFL $14 billion, could also use a single transcendent star player to represent the sport in America, even if unofficially. For years, most agree, that was Yankees shortstop Derek Jeter, until he retired in 2014. So, who is that star in 2017? Many believe the new face of baseball is Yankees rookie Aaron Judge. He's a six foot seven slugger who set a new rookie home run record this year with 52 homers. And Judge had the number one best selling jersey of this season.